Hola amigos, welcome back to the channel. This is Nadi Nair and today I will be showing you introduction, basic introduction to the VFDs, variable frequency drives, commonly known as AC drive or inverter. So let's begin. <laughs> So guys, this is our VFD, Tecomic S310 plus model. This is the control terminals. This is the power terminals. Three phase input, UVW, three phase output. Heat sink, and there is a fan located here. This is a 5 HP, 3.7 kilowatt, 5 HP motor drive. So this has a fault of no display. So guys, now we will test the drive. Why it is no display? So first of all, we have to check the in rectifier and IGBT. This is the positive terminal. With respect to that UVW. No shorting. We don't have a negative in terminal. So we can check with that. Now we will have to open the drive. So this is a lock. Push there and open. And you, as you can see, this is a display connector. Keep that to the side. Then there are two screws. We will use a Phillips screwdriver. cover is off this is the inside part of the VFD as you can see there are no burnouts visible so let's remove the control card Keep all the screws in one place, otherwise it will go missing. And you can see these are studs and for this we need a nut driver. We will use this force sprocket set. There are screws inside, heatsink screws. Remove these connectors. Remember which one is which place. This is the heat sink, this is the temperature sensor and this is the connector for fan. Let's keep it in the side and this is the power card itself. This is the relays, precharge resistor, snubber 
and here is the firing section optus this is the smps section and this is the igbt infineon make and these are the power capacitors power banks so let's check the mosfet this is the mosfet So <coughs> this capacitor is looking bulging but it is pressing so let's tear it open and check we have to be confirmed it's okay no issues this also is okay so let's check the diodes okay 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 This is the switching IC. So let's check. Okay. It's a little bit down. We have to check this. And on the back side, there is nothing much, but these doors we have to check. See, this is showing less. So let's switch on the soldering iron. It will take five minutes. These are the diodes. This is a movie. Input voltage protection. Yeah. This is the IGBT Infinite Make. This is the capacitors power bank. This is the connector for control card. Relays, SMPS transformer, SMPS switching IC. This is the Optus firing circuit. Typically a VFD has three sections, main sections, the rectifier, this is a IGBT and rectifier built-in module, single module. So the AC goes to the bridge rectifier, then capacitor, DC, filters, then the IGBT inverts it to AC again and the UVW. And the SMPS section is switched on via the DC supply. We will also remove the power bank for safety, then we will give series DC, then test the drive. Because if there is any shorting, it will not blast. If we give direct supply AC, it may blast because the capacitor charge holding. So the solder is heated up, now let's remove the capacitors. This gum is holding it back, so let's cut it first. Be careful with the blade or you can damage the PCB. Apply some flux. Now it's done. 
so guys that's all for today hope to see you in my next video please watch part 2 for final trial thanks for watching a like would be appreciated